Okay guys, so this is mostly just to apologize for the lack of updates. Uh, a couple things are going on. Uh, Frankie's having some trouble with her internet, so she's not been able to be on very much, if at all. I think she's getting it fixed currently, but I was supposed to post yesterday on her behalf and I didn't. Sorry. What ended up happening was yesterday... Was it yesterday? No, Saturday I had family over. And yesterday I had a friend over. And today ended up being my sister's birthday. So I didn't actually have any time to post anything. And I'm sorry. I did do a lot of writing. <laughs> Though none of it for original stuff. So I don't know if that's a moot point or not. Um, I have been productive. And um, Forever is going really well. I've gotten... It's gotten to the point where my readers are so angsty that I actually took a second to stop posting chapters. And I posted like a faux chapter where it was kind of like, hey guys, I just kind of want to know what your thoughts are right here because I'm watching a bunch of you freak out and it's really making my day. So take a second to tell me what you're thinking. And the response has been pretty good, actually. I got comments from people who haven't been commenting at all, so that was cute. Um, I thought there was something more I wanted to say about that, but I guess not. No, I guess not. But yeah, that, that story is going really, really well. So that's really exciting watching people actually freak out go speechless and and say how could you I can't believe you just did that it just really makes my day I'm such a mean person <laughs> I love watching these people suffer when they read my stuff I, get, I can't decide if that's good or good or bad I've had a lot of fun talking to writers lately I've talked to um, one friend who's working on starting her story based on how she met her husband I have one friend who was over this weekend who's starting a, a sort of like a personal memoir. That's pretty exciting. I've been talking to one friend who's thinking about writing a fantasy story. He's having trouble with coming up with names. And of course I talked to my other friends, especially Frankie, who, I mean, by now you guys should know who, she, who that is. And Stella, who by now you should also know who that is. Her and I are like fucked up soulmates. <laughs> <laughs> the fiction world everything disturbing and horrible that goes on in our brains her and I have the same funk so that's kind of cool so I've been talking to her mm, in regards to the story that I refuse to talk about <laughs> because it embarrasses me I have another friend who's on the same page with that too so I've been talking to her so basically a lot of what I've been doing lately has just been a bunch of random Skype nonsense with people who are kind of doing the same thing that I am but I'm very very glad that whatever I've been doing has apparently excited some people into writing and you guys know who you are so thanks a lot for that that makes me feel really good it, you know at the very least I've encouraged some people to write some more it really is a lot of fun writing um, the characters take on a mind of their own <sighs> yeah I don't have much else to say I will say that at my sister's birthday party today, I carved a really sweet pumpkin. Um, Naruto, the manga, is ending in less than four weeks now. And to commemorate it, I did a Naruto going batshit, nine-tailed fox mode, six-tails mode. Um, I'm going like, Rah! with the six tails. It's on my Facebook. If you're on my Facebook, you can go check it out. Otherwise, you can look me up on DeviantArt. My uh, username there is dragons 9 Rhapsody, D-R-A-G-O-N-S, and then the number 9. And then Rhapsody, R-H-A-P-S-O-D-Y. I've actually posted quite a few pumpkins on there. I don't know why. I get really, really into holiday crafts, like pumpkin carving and Easter eggs. I guess that's really it. <laughs> <laughs> but the pumpkins especially each one of my pumpkins takes me probably about three hours because um, what I do is I find like a picture that I really want to do that I feel can translate into a pumpkin design and then I have to sketch it out and then I have to decide what parts of the picture are going to be cut out what parts are going to be silhouettes and what parts are going to be glow which means that you basically you scrape the wall of the pumpkin really really thin and then basically skin the skin off and it glows it's kind of like half in between what it would look like if you cut it out completely or didn't cut it out at all so basically you can in this way you can achieve three different levels of color and um, for the past several years I've really gotten into it because I don't know it's really fun I don't want to do cheesy cheesy Halloween designs like jack-o-lanterns and 
scaredy cat, so I want to do nerd things like the Red Dragon from Castle Age and Pokemon and Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction and apparently Naruto. So if you think that shit's cool, you can go look me up on DeviantArt. I get really into it. I've also got like Pokemon Easter eggs and things like that. Whatever. That's all up to you. I have all kinds of weird things floating around the internet. It's up to you how much of my craziness you really want to get acquainted with. But that's just one more outlet if, I don't know, for some reason you <laughs> you're enjoying the nuts that the nuts on this that goes up in my brain. All right, that five and a half minutes is plenty enough for a an update that really just takes the place of other updates. <laughs> sorry that Frankie's gone, and um, she'll be back though. And sorry I haven't updated quite as much. Um, we'll get back to it. But thanks for following. Bye.